B.J. Ranch, fall 1953. The flood has come and gone. There's Lyndon out in the blue panic grass with a bull with the delightful name of Friendly Mixford. There'd been some mighty dry years, and we ought to be proud of this little grass. I was not so sure of my welcome as Lyndon was. Linda Bird, rather plump, was going to school at Johnson City from September until Christmas. And Lucy Baines in first grade at Johnson City. There's Beagle, a ham as always, and Lucy's dog, Laddie. And there is Lyndon putting the cattle in the pen. A.W. A slimmer A.W. Our great advisor in all ranch affairs. The foreman, the lending boy, doctoring one of the calves. There's Ernie Stubbs, the banker from Johnson City. And that's the joy of the whole business, the calves. And there is Melvin Winters, our good friend, at his house, we stayed all the fall of 51 when we were working on the ranch till we finally moved in. In July of 52, there is Beagle. That dog always wanted the whole show, and Congressman Homer Thornberry, he and Eloise used to come out, and he's probably talking about how he painted the side of the house. He's looking up at the side of the house. He was so good at painting his own house that so we provided him with a bucket and some paint. In those days, we all did everything around the house. There's Ernest Thompson of the Texas Railroad Commission. He was the father of conservation and Gene Lasseter. Everything that happened in the oil industry about conservation is likely to have originated in the head of Ernest Thompson. There's Herman Brown. And Mary Rather, we used to sit out under the live oak trees in those chairs which had begun their life in the backyard of Dillman. And we had the loveliest morning glories out behind the dining room. We always had, each year from the beginning on, some lovely zinnias. There's Mary and Marjorie and Eloise Thornberry. This is the old part of the house, the field stone. Gene is by the hitching post that Warren Woodward and all the staff gave Lyndon for his birthday when we first moved into the ranch. And there's a view of the little valley of the Perdinalis from up at the top by one of the tanks. You look down into a slope of land, gray-green, our own little piece of the hill country with the hills beyond. There's Homer Thornberry with Lyndon out in the, what I believe is the Blue Panic. Lennon's having a meeting of his district men in the front yard at the ranch. There's Jay Taylor of Amarillo and Adrian Spears. Bob Clark and Milton Potts will be somewhere around in the crowd. And there's Mac DeGarin and Sherman Birdwell, who was his first secretary when he went to Congress. And there's Jake Pickle. In these meetings, he got sort of a sampling of how he was measuring up all around the state and everybody's opinion. There's Blake Gillen on the right, I think. And Elmer Parish of Wichita Falls is somewhere there, and there's Earl Rudder, and Fenner Roth, and Dub Singleton will be in the crowd. And Hunter McLean, that old reliable from Fort Worth, and Cecil Burney of Corpus Christi. We couldn't have gotten along without him. And there's Linda Bird. She was always around when there was uh, politics being talked. And George Reedy, right behind her. Sam Houston's there. Dub Singleton, Chilton O'Brien and his wife, Lucy. And here's Lucy and Bill Beagle. And we were having visitors from East Texas. Ricky and his brother. The back seat of the pickup, tailgate of it, was their very favorite place for Linda and Lucy and all the children who came to visit. And here it is. Thanksgiving, 
1953. There's Sarah in the red blouse and Marciana uh, getting ready to centerpiece the Thanksgiving table with the windmill in the background. Tony and Martiana, and Daddy and Ruth, there they are. And Tommy and Sarah came to spend several days with us, and my brothers went hunting, and each one got an eight-point book, and there they are, stringing up in the backyard. And the very slim little Lucy, age six, is watching. And there's my daddy, Thomas Jefferson Taylor, with Lyndon and with my two brothers. What a big man Tommy was, and that ubiquitous cigar, he was never without it. Lyndon out in the field with blonde Molly Thornberry and Lucy. There's what it's all about, the white face herpins, the delight of every rancher. Lyndon can tell every one of them from every other one. A cigarette was seldom out of his mouth in those days. This was just the second year we'd owned the ranch, and the ranch, like the children, have grown and changed since then. Buffalo grass and KR blue stem were the popular grasses of the day, and one of my main interests was working on the trees in the grove with a tree surgeon and a little experimenting in planting blue bonnets. I remember those were very dry years. And there is Linda Bird on Peach Beauty with her Brackettville clothes on. under the big live oak at the front entrance. And there's Lyndon on the Tennessee Walker. Quite a handsome Western gentleman. And what a good gait that Tennessee Walker has. Has old Beagle getting out of the way for once. Christmas, 1953, our second Christmas at the ranch. Ah, and what pretty doll beds and doll furniture those girls got that year. We always hung the stockings in uh, the big room above that fireplace. This must be Christmas morning because they're already emptying the stockings. They've already found everything. Linda, nine, is already plump. Lucy, six, is having her first year in school at Johnson City. And there's the tree. That was the spot that it always stayed. <laughs> Finger paint. One of Lucy's favorite Christmas presents over and over at about that time. And Lucy minus a tooth or two. <laughs> and there is Aunt Frank, whose house it was for 50 years. We bought it from her, sitting with um, Aunt Kitty, and there is Lyndon's sister, Rebecca, his brother, Sam Houston, his brother-in-law, Bobbitt. And Mrs. Johnson, and always Oriole, and there's Mrs. Johnson with some of her grandchildren, little Becky Alexander, Linda Bird in her Christmas present shawl, Rodney in the red hat, and Philip in a jacket. And this time, we have a new foreman, uh, Lyndon's little cousin, Corky Cox, that was his wife in the white, and here's Aunt Kitty, Uncle Tom's widow, and Lyndon's sister, Rebecca, and, and Bobbitt, her husband, Lyndon kissing his mother. And there's his sister, Lucia, in the background. Christmas was always a gathering of the clan, his kinfolks and mine. His were a little more numerous. His two sisters, his brother. And there is Ava Johnson Cox, who taught Linda and Lucy both when they were at Johnson City. Here we all are, all lined up, probably just before we go in for the Christmas dinner. We had a scenic wallpaper on in those days. 